Peter Chow here. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are well. So I always like waking up to some good news. So I emailed the SPCA telling them that we're doing a live comedy show on June 29th in Vancouver with all proceeds being crowdfunded towards that BC SPCA. Of course, I got an email back saying that it sounds like a fun event. So they're going to put me towards the special events coordinator and we're going to talk very soon. And once I talk with her, we're going to get all the details sorted out. But I'm pretty sure SPCA would be pretty much on board to sponsor the event. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm doing a live comedy comedy show, the I'm Not Racist show, live comedy with musical performance by me, gentleman's vibe, but the only thing is that because it's crowdfunded, it can only happen if it raises $3,000. So if you live in Vancouver, or even if you don't pledge your little money to this event, make it happen, that's the goal. $3,000 that we're going to raise, and we're going to be giving it to the SPCA. Right now, we have 33 days to go, and we've already raised 750 $57.25% I'll link the description in the description bar below but there's lots of things you can do you can pledge a dollar if you can't go pledge a dollar and help the SPCA $10 uh, you'll be able to just read that autograph Peter Child picture who doesn't want that and then we have the very Asian VIP package for $50 which is everything you get the VIP treatment you get the center front row the first few rows photos I got one of my graphic buddies to with up this awesome poster the I'm Not Racist live comedy show at the review stage on Granville Island. I've been trying to get back into stand-up. That's always uh, been a dream of mine to do stand-up. So this is kind of like a stepping stone. This is like the first step to many steps to come because I want to be an actor. I want to be the stand-up comedian. I want to continue doing my YouTube thing. I'm that type of guy that gets bored very easily. I'm the type of guy that just wants to try new things all the time. So help me out with this first step. is very important to me that the Child Nation helps support the show because if you don't support the show, it's not going to happen. But enough about my show, I'm going to ask you guys some questions on Twitter right now with the hashtag AskPeterChow and I'm going to answer whoever decides to ask any questions. Let's do it. So I'm looking at some questions right now, going through the Twitter, I already sent out the hashtag, Ask Peter Chow. This one from Natalie. She asks, can blind people see in their dreams? Just because you're blind doesn't mean you don't have any imagination. So I would have to say that if you are dreaming, just because you can't see, doesn't really stop you from having vivid dreams. So whatever you think something looks like, or whatever you think something is, or how it appears to be, that's how it appears to you and your interpretation. So I I think that blind people can actually definitely see in their dreams because whatever they think that they are seeing in their brain that is what they see just because they can't physically see doesn't mean they can't imagine I would have to imagine if it was a guy that was blind all he would be thinking about is titties the next question here from Laura Lee if you could have lunch with anyone dead or alive who would it be now I would have to say that I would rough to have lunch with Jackie Chan just a way to ask him questions and be like how did you reach your iconic status the way you did how much hard work that you had to go through I would love to have lunch with him to pick his brain and go Jackie Chan how did you do it but there's so many people I would love to meet and just pick their brain and learn as much as I can because that's what life is about learning talking to people who know more than you and for you to learn from them I'm a YouTube comedian, I want to be a stand-up comedian, I want to be a musician, I want to be just a movie star, all of that. So talking to Jackie Chan who has very funny comedic elements to his movies, he's a movie star, he's a musician, he's a one-man show, and that's exactly what I want to be. So having lunch with him, I would definitely learn a lot. The next question here from Jimmy, where do you get your ideas from to your videos? It would have to come from my brain. Now a lot of comedians, they have people that write for them, they have an entire team that does everything for them so they're just a performer me I'm a one-man show I do everything myself when it comes to music videos I employ IFHT for music I employ the gentleman's vibe I certainly do have help in certain places for certain videos but a lot of my videos are from my brain and as soon as I think of an idea or
or, or something that I want to do a video about, I take that notepad out and I write it down. Even when you think of an idea and you don't write it down immediately, an hour later you'll be like, what's that idea that I was thinking of that was so good and so funny? Where is it now? I don't know where it is. So here's to you people who are wanting to get into the entertainment beast switch. If you think of a funny idea or just doesn't even have to be funny, just an idea, right? It down. After I compile all my notes in my notepad, when it comes time to write the video, you can take those notes and form those notes into a shooting script. A lot of people tend to think that videos just kind of happen out of nowhere. They just drop out of my asshole like nuggets of shit. And I think that those people are undermining how hard YouTube is. The challenge of writing, shooting, editing, being your own boss. It is a full-time job. My goal in life is to entertain people on a mass scale. Tim wants to ask, plastic chopstick or wood chopstick? That's easy. I love the wood chopstick because it's a better grip. You have those marble chopsticks, you have the plastic chopstick, and, 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 you, and you hold it at the bottom, you hold it at the top, and eventually when you're eating, it's stripped to the bottom. Your hands strip to the bottom. I like the wood chopstick. Good grip, and you can really get the food that you want to get immediately. So you have the noodles, you go, Ugh. put it in your mouth just like that. But the marble chopstick and the worst, those metal slippery ones, those are the worst ones. So I'm a plastic chopstick the guy or the way. Briona wants to ask, would you ever own a pet snake? Now this is a very interesting question because most people would say no. Now of course I'm not going to own a rattlesnake or something that I can control or like a big time cobra that can choke me to death by suffocating my leg. No, that's just stupid. When I was at Prank House a few years ago, somebody brought in a snake, just a little mini one, and I let it crawl all over my arm and just play with it and all that and I was very very amused. It was like, oh, just, just a snake, just a fun little animal creature whatever it is essentially just don't piss it off and you can be friends with a snake any time of the day but the thing that i found out about snakes that kind of grossed me out is that the peeing track the urinal track is actually at the bottom of the snake so when it's crawling all over you the guy was like oh yeah he's pretty much pissing on you right now i'm like what he was like oh yeah the 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 the, the piss is coming out of the bottom of the snake so pretty much the snake piss is going all over you right now and i was like oh thank you very much here you go snake back to you and i'm going to go take a shower. Guys, I want to thank you for the questions that you sent in on hashtag AskPeterChow. We will do this again very, very soon. It's very fun answering your questions. I love answering your questions. Sometimes when I'm traveling, I like to do it just immediate on Twitter. So I encourage you to always ask me questions on Twitter. My handle is at PyroBooby. Use the hashtag AskPeterChow. If you write this vlog, make sure to share it with your friends by boom, giving it the thumbs up. You like my mop? It has a pink handle. Awesome. Again, my live comedy show, first time ever in Vancouver, Granville Island, review stage, June 29, 7 o'clock p.m. Pledge some money to the show. We're trying to get to $3,000 and raise the money to bring it to the BCSPCA to save some animals. And until next time, stop drinking the haterade and start drinking the bubble tea. Ciao outside, motherfucker. I, I, I don't know about you, but I feel